Good morning, this is Varda Schein, Managing Director of the DTC. Welcome to Israel again. Varda, if you could just tell us what you expect to see coming out of this conference. I think a um, couple of things. First of all, obviously, it is about people meeting and mingling and getting connections and contacts, which hopefully would lead to business transactions following that. But I also think it's a great opportunity to kind of have the thought leaders of the industry and coming together and thinking about what are the challenges that we are all facing now, what are the things that one needs to actually focus on in 2008 and beyond. What are the, what are the most uh, pressing challenges for this year? Well, I think first of all, um, there is a huge challenge in what's happening with the economy. I think that is going to have an impact, even if we don't necessarily feel it in the rough yet. Later today, I'm talking about some statistics from the new economies, from China, from India, and from Latin America, which are actually fascinating if people are looking for some sort of alternatives and options to move forward. I think the second challenge, which is um, as big, mm. is the perceived or the, the scarcity of rough. Mm. And I think it's very much a question of the diamond industry for decades and decades has been all the time chasing for market share. People were chasing for us and were willing to actually pay very high prices just to actually get a position. And I think the focus should really shift into how does one take what you have and try to maximize that and look at innovative and creative ways of adding value and actually making that a bigger, better business. I think there's no better place than Israel for that because when you look at innovation and entrepreneurship that exists here, look at the high-tech industry, look at all these other businesses, it's really very much about, well, if this is what exists, rather than chasing off and, and whether it is paying crazy premiums or whether it is doing all sorts of things that are non-sustainable non economically, it's how does one use the creativity and initiative to actually look at different ways of working. Of course there are other challenges like the, um, the dollar rate, the oil price, the gold price and all of these things which make it more difficult on the diamond jewelry. We from a De Beers perspective, DTC perspective, we have a huge challenge in the power situation in South Africa which will impact Southern Africa because I'm still waiting to get from our producing partners what is going to be the impact if they are ending up with 10 or 20 percent less electricity for the year. And do you think the situation will continue for? I've heard anything from seven to ten years. Well the thing is you know setting up a new power station takes good five years. The real question is can they organize themselves, can they be more efficient? We hope that with the support of the industry in South Africa the government would be able to achieve solutions for the midterm as well. But definitely short term it's going to impact. A little bit about Israel industry. What feedback and reaction are you getting in light of the DMDL downsizing here? It's still selling here, I know, but um, not sorting here. And cutbacks in number of Israeli site holders. Obviously, we live in a very dynamic world and there's business challenges on everyone, including on the beers and the DTC. Yeah. And I think while there was a lot of noise about is DMDL closing altogether, is it not? People do appreciate the fact that we have kept an office here. And, um, as far as the site holder list, you know, it's, it's, the selection process was very much an outcome of the availabilities we have. And the new things in the equation which weren't there before were first of all um, less Russian going to basically no Russian in the near future after this year. <laughs> and then uh, the whole beneficiation. When you look at producing countries' aspirations, and I think it's important to say it's not just in diamonds. Producing countries in any resource is looking for value addition at source. And diamonds are no different to any other. Polishing and cutting is, 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 falls into the same category. So because we have to sell by 2010, we actually have to sell $550 million in Botswana, $300 million in Namibia. And then obviously in South Africa we've been selling regularly. That means that out of the availability of London, we have about a billion, a billion and a half dollars coming off. With, and, and, and it is the more cuttable, the more economically viable goods, which obviously impact Belgium, Israel and the States more than it impacts India. So I think um, people have 
been expecting a reduction in size of the site holder list. Everyone was hoping it won't be them. I still think that the reaction in Israel, I have to say, was very mature. So I thought that was really fantastic. And then don't forget, we also have two new site holders in Israel, which is a great sign because, to be fair, I didn't expect it. Yeah, it's, it's with all this move of goods into Africa for beneficiation, we actually were surprised to see that we did manage to get two new Israeli site holders onto the list. Recently, the DTC raised rough prices for site holders. What are the expectations for rough in the coming month, rough prices in the coming month? As we've said, we are actually looking much more proactively at rough prices, uh, and we've communicated that we will be um, announcing the accumulative price changes before the main trade shows. But uh, we are, as, we, as actually it's not recently as, as of last month, it was something we started in the second half of 2007. Do you think the increases in RAF are being driven by fears of shortages of RAF? The DTC doesn't price like that. The DTC pricing is basically based on polished outcome. And what we're looking for, because we're partners with governments, we're looking for sustainable price. So we are actually, where we've increased prices, we're very confident that Polish prices have actually gone up over the last year. And we believe what we've done is a sustainable price increase. TMD has started online tenders, I think. Um, will this continue or expand? Uh, are there going to be other ways like this selling down the pipeline for DTC? Is this I an think um, DM Dell is a separate company to the DTC. They are intending to continue selling and auctions. Mm -hmm. But as Gareth said in an answer to a question yesterday, it would only be part of the goods. The majority of the goods are still going to be sold to regular customers.